I usually don't ask things of people who watch my videos, but in this case, I'm going to, to plead and beg with you to share this with as many people as you know who might be working with uh, crystal radios, anything like that. I found a really insidious problem in one of the products uh, that, and frankly, I always recommend, uh, which causes the thing to stop working. And the reason this is important is because I got my start in the technology industry because of, well, almost 60 years ago, I built one of these and I thought it was so miraculous that it got me interested in electronics and, you know, radios and stuff like that. So yeah. And the reason I put out a lot of these videos is to help people along. I mean, I get a lot of comments about people saying, yeah, my, my father and I built one, uh, it brings back memories. You know, I'm going to build one with my kids or my grandkids, whatever like that. And that's really good. But what's really disappointing is when people write and say, we built one and it doesn't work and I've checked everything and it just, it just doesn't happen. And you know, in the past I've always suspected maybe, you know, it's just a bad connection or something, or they didn't scrape the wire off or, you know, something like that because Wow, these things are almost foolproof, but yeah. Um, and this, a little while ago, I did a video on fake uh, 1N34A diodes. And this problem is so much worse because the fake diodes, at least you get something, you know, you'll, you'll get sound at maybe half volume or whatever, what it could be, but it's, it's going to work and it's not going to be totally disappointing. Uh, this new fail is, well, let me just tell you what I was doing. I was working on uh, a new crystal radio design. Uh, it's really loud, really, you know, really worked well. And then it just like over a, one second, it just, the volume went from being loud to nothing, just off. So I thought, wow, you know, the first thing I suspected was the diode. Maybe I burned out the diode. So I got out another diode, put it in place, nothing. So, okay, the next thing is I must have a broken connection somewhere. So I started looking, I checked all my connections, got out the, the ohm meter, checked everything. It was good. Finally, I said, well, the only thing left is this piezoelectric, piezoelectric earphone. And I mean, you know, I say that this is kind of a, a necessary thing. Tracked it down to this. And then I said, okay, so what's going on here? Got to know why it quit working. And I plugged it into my old Radio Shack transistor radio and I got nothing. So, okay, that kind of confirms that the earphone is bad because if it won't drive from an amplifier, it's certainly not going to drive from a crystal radio. So I fussed with that for a little while, gave up. Finally, in an act of, of retaliation, I was going to destroy the thing and I just deliberately shorted it across the nine volt battery in the in the uh, transistor radio, it went clack, clack. And so out of curiosity, I hooked it up again and it worked. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's a uh, locking up the diaphragms locking up because of something mechanical, something, uh, electromagnetic, electrostatic. I don't know if a charge is building up on it. It quits working. I don't really recommend shorting this to fix it because it's a temporary fix. It comes and goes. Um, in fact, it will fix itself. That's another thing that's insidious about it. It fixes itself if you just let it sit long enough. So yeah, I'm afraid what's going to happen is people are going to build a, you know, take the time to build one of these crystal radios. It's not going to work and it's going to be very disappointing. So I want to get the word out to make sure that if people have an issue that they check the, the earphone and replace it with another one. Uh, the only thing I can find now I've been using these for a long time and I just recently ordered new ones and the new ones are the ones giving me the trouble. And the only difference I really see is that one is made in Japan. The old one is made in Japan and the new one is made in Taiwan. Sorry guys, but you know, facts are facts. Both of mine that I ordered do the same thing. They do this lockup thing. Um, they look like they're good quality. They have better wire than the old ones I was using. They come with a plug. I don't know, just, you know, they look like it's a, it's a better thing all around, but again, the, they just quit working on you and it, it fools you. It, uh, yeah, it, it puts you in a bad situation. 
So anyway, I wanted to get the word out and make sure that if people are working on this, that they get a bad one, that they know that they've got a bad one, it's not, it's not their fault, it's not something they did wrong in the construction, and they just need to check their, uh, their earphone. Okay, well that was it. If you can help me get the word out on this so that uh, any future electrical engineers are not disappointed, uh, you know, have a life-changing disappointment, uh, I'd appreciate it. Okay, well that was it. Hope everybody who watches this finds this useful and interesting in their DIY crystal radio and other electronic experimentation.